Hello and uh, welcome back. In last video, I mentioned that the car had a check engine light and was throwing a P1745 code. You can see it here. In this video, we'll discuss what this code is about, how to diagnose it and hopefully fix it. This one here is uh, the Chrysler documentation and this is how the documentation, uh, the factory documentation describes this code. Transmission line pressure too high for too long. Theory of operation is that if uh, the transmission is has been operating in an open loop pressure control for roughly 2000 miles or it records about a thousand uh, second to third upshifts uh, resulting from a line pressure DTC and then after that it will trigger this particular DTC which is P1745. Now here are a few things that uh, it does not uh, mention or uh, actually does not go into detail to identify what they are but I'll go through them first of all is that what is an open line open line uh, sorry open loop line pressure control so ideally the when the when the TCM or the PCM is operating a transmission it has its own map of uh, the recommended or uh, the line pressure chart that it would like to see the transmission would respond to uh, and if it sees a higher line pressure than that or a lower line pressure than that then it will say okay this is the temperature this is the pressure that i'm getting too high or this is the pressure that i'm getting too low and it will trigger a check engine light because of it so usually whenever you see p1745 it should be accompanied by a pressure line pressure uh, line pressure too high uh, dtc as well so the set condition is that uh, if the temperature if the transmission has been operating in the open loop, uh, loop pressure control for 2000 miles it just uh, or 1002 to 3 upshift it will trigger this GTC. Now some of the things it does not mention over here I've written them down uh, for you guys to have a look at it. First of all uh, this P1745 DTC itself does not point to a problem by itself it just indicates that there is another underlying problem and uh, that is letting the vehicle to operate in open loop pressure environment which means that it cannot see uh, the PCM cannot see the desired line pressure from the transmission and uh, it can be from any reason we'll go into it into detail later on in the next video but just to wrap it up I mean if it's it's an open loop if the transmission line pressure does not match what you want to see um, also this code is triggered when the PCM sees that the line pressure persists with the car for an extended period of time and it's not fixed so the thing about uh, the codes with uh, high pressure and low pressure is that these codes when they are triggered they do not put the car in limp mode so if a driver that sees a check engine light it might not necessarily would take it to a workshop to get it fixed uh, and it does not put the car in limp mode but what the technicians here or what the engineers here uh, who are designing the 62 TE has done that if the line pressure it's not getting fixed for extended period like for example 2000 miles they would put the car in a limp mode just because there was an underlying condition that was not fixed that was the line pressure was too high or too low and this is how it will ensure so once it is in limp mode this ensures that the car goes to the workshop and hopefully get fixed and the third point that I would like to mention is that the wording of the transmission line pressure too high for too long is misleading that is because uh, I've seen it that it is accompanied also in condition when the line pressure is too low for too long which means that it's a generic code that can point to a line pressure problem whether it's too high or too low now the diagnostic test is none I mean um, here's the thing there is an underlying condition and if it's not fixed this code is generated so you have to fix the underlying condition to get this uh, code fixed otherwise you can remove this code for which we have a procedure where it says on how to remove it and that is to uh, in order to erase this DTC you must reset or erase the VLP shift counters and output uh, tooth counters which is single procedure of miscellaneous functions in the scan tool called clear variable line pressure counters so the only objective of this procedure is to get the car out of the limp mode. It does not fix a problem with the car. 
it does not describe any more uh, it, it, it will not give you any more hints on what the problem is or how to fix it so once you have taken the car for example you are in a situation where you have taken the car out of the limp mode after resetting these counters only after that you have to drive the car for a few uh, minutes hours or days to see the underlying condition otherwise usually if you're scanning it for the first time then the codes accompanied by this p1745 will be able to tell you what sort of problem line pressure problem the car is running in because it only puts the car in limp mode if there is a problem with the line pressure of the transmission now to check whether how we can clear the vlr, uh, VLR counters uh, we go to special function let's see uh, well this tool does not have any clear vlr counters option it does have some uh, 6280 break in reset memory quick re re relearn quick relearn code validation i can't see anything uh, vlr so this tool uses a variety of software so currently it's using dodge uh, sorry not it's fiat free mount so you can see here it says fiat it has loaded the fiat to one so what i'll do is i'll change its uh, software to something dot journey because uh, the transmission is exactly the same sometimes what happens is that uh, between uh, no, see it's currently picking up jf 2030 in fremont so now this is not what i want to use i'll go back and uh, exit yes i'll go and manually select dodge journey and the reason I want to do this is sometimes uh, they have different options against uh, different models of the car. So it's possible that the Dodge Journey will have uh, uh, the option to clear the VLR counters, but the Fiat Fiemont software doesn't, even though it's the same tool. So I've seen this with uh, some other cars too. So let's see if we can find that so this is jf remote jc journey so let's so here if i click jf remote it will still use the same software so let's go to jc journey uh let's go to hot functions no not these ones diagnosis and i'll go to control unit train ecm the reason i didn't select ecm is that this does not have a separate TCM so even if I would have selected it it would have uh, resulted in nothing so live data active test event data special function yeah so let's see if we can find VLR counter option here mm, yeah it is it's not VLR VLP clear learned variable line pressure counters click on that Clearing okay, yep, no worries. So we have uh, it says three three options VLP 23 shift count in open loop, clear variable line pressure, open loop, or put tooth count clear. I'll just clear all have been cleared. Okay, so now I have to do second thing, and that is to erase codes to get rid of that check engine light. they've been cleared let's start it and see yeah the check engine light disappeared so that's how you clear it uh, so I was driving around the car and uh, I had these two uh, parameters in actual line pressure and the desired line pressure uh, for some period of the time the desired line pressure and actual line pressure they were uh, two separate lines and the desired uh, actual line pressure was following or trying to follow the uh, desired line pressure but um, after uh, some time about five or ten minutes into the drive it just uh, uh, stopped following it and now both of these parameters are the same both the levels of the same so desired pressure is the actual line pressure which means that uh, the computer is no longer able uh, to present the actual line pressure data for some reason so we'll have to go back and see what the problem is in the meanwhile i got to check engine light 
So let's go back and have a look and see what uh, what's the reason, what the code it's generated. So, hmm, where is it? Trouble codes. Oh, here it is. Line pressure low, zero eight six eight. And this is I was wondering because initially when I was looking at the data, uh, it seemed like the code that I should have got is the line pressure low code rather than the line pressure too low, too high for too long. And this one now makes sense because uh, my curve for actual line pressure was trying, were actually falling behind the uh, design line pressure. So this is something we can work on. In the next video, we'll see what the problem of our low line pressure was and how we fixed it. Thank you for watching.